What's up guys? We got another Cyrax kickstream and he's pretty mad. So let's just check it out. And CVG, I know you're gonna be watching this. And to my former now dead sister, I know you're gonna be watching this as well. So sit your little fat ass down, Dale, and your 300 pound fucking cow, you may as well sit down. So just sit on your fucking ass and listen up. You know what's funny? About you, CVG. The fact that you do nothing but spew motherfucking lies. But we'll, we'll get to that in a minute. I got some personal business with this fucking bitch, Dale Lynn Carr. Hey Dale, you wanna know why? I fucking disown your fucking dumb ass. Because I got tired of your ass treating me like a goddamn motherfucking kid. I got fucking sick of it. I got fucking tired of it. So yeah, I cut your ass off, bitch. I got your ass cut off because I got sick and tired of your fucking ass treating me like a little fucking kid every fucking day even though I'm a motherfucking grown ass man all you ever did was treat me like a kid even though I'm a grown ass motherfucking man oh for the record oh for the record hang on first off let me and just for the record CVG, when Heather fucking lived here, you dumbass motherfucker, she kept me locked in my goddamn motherfucking room and wouldn't fucking let me leave, you dumb little fucking bitch. We were on a motherfucking stream. She would not let me fucking leave my goddamn room to go cool off. She held me hostage in my own fucking room. Alright? So sit down and shut your bitch ass up, CBG. Oh, and Dale, do you wanna know why you're on mom's motherfucking permanent shit list? Do you wanna know why? Cause you flat out said you never gave a fuck about me or her. Which proves you're a lying little cunt bag bitch. And while we're telling the fucking truth, why don't you tell the world about your fucking failure of a son, Damien Rain? And how he would, how his teachers were so scared of him that they pushed him through school. Nah. It was him being motherfucking lazy and not wanting to do shit. And while we're at it, why don't you tell him the truth about how that fucking piece of shit failed your son of yours? Has been to jail more times than even I could count. How about that? How about you tell him the truth, Dale? Tell him about how Danny has been to jail more times than even I have. Why are you telling the truth? I mean, while we're talking about it, you may as well tell him the truth, Dale. Why are you telling how your room's a fucking pigsty compared to mine? Yeah, there's a few things laying around on my bed, but as you can see, i got a bunch of fucking shit from fans over the years. So, I have a reason to not have room. Yo shit, you got no fucking reason. And you want to talk about me not having a job? Look at you, Dale. All you do is sit up there on your fucking computer and play IMVU all day and play motherfucking pretend. Well, I'm not here fussing my fucking ass, doing what I want to do with my motherfucking life, trying to do my music, trying to get my art back up and going, trying to get my gaming shit back up and going, and making real fucking money. Not fake ass bullshit I am the you money like you do. All you do is sit there and play fucking pretend all goddamn day. That's all you do. You sit up there and you play fucking pretend on a fucking computer through a site called IMVU. And yeah, sure, you might make a few dollars here and there, 
But let me tell you right now, Dale. That's all you do. You sit up there and you play fucking pretend. And you go, oh, woe is me. When I'm actually out here busting my goddamn motherfucking ass. So, Dale, instead of sparking your bitch-ass punk mouth over the goddamn internet, why don't you fucking call me up, bitch? You got my number? Call me up and we'll fucking settle this shit. Or are you too fucking chicken shit to do that? Oh, wait, I forgot. You're too fucking scared. Because you know damn well I know the goddamn truth. You know damn well you're a lying little bitch. Like Mom said last night. You're living in a goddamn fantasy world, bitch. Time to come to that fuck back down to earth. Bring your punk ass back down to earth. You're living in a fantasy world, Dale. And you need to knock it the fuck off. Oh, and CBG, just shut the fuck up and go the fuck on somewhere. All you are is a crowd chasing nobody. That's all you are. Oh, a dead by design? You ain't gonna do shit, homeboy. You already know you ain't gonna do shit. Because guess what? If you move over here, we have the proof of you sitting there saying that you're gonna harass us. So if I was you, I'd shut the fuck up. And go the fuck on somewhere. So Dale, what's it going to be? Are you going to shut your little bitch ass mouth up? And shut up and be quiet? Like a good little bitch? And stop fucking making up lies about me and mom and our family? Or do I have to continue to call you the fuck out? Because the more lies you make up Dale in, the more I call you out. The more I speak the real motherfucking truth. I'm tired of your little bitch ass over here treating me like a kid when I'm a grown ass man who actually does shit, who actually attempts to make a real fucking living when you don't even do shit. Oh, for the record, Dale, just for the record, okay, that weight that you have, maybe if you actually tried to fucking work out and actually got up and did shit, like, go for walks, maybe you'd actually get somewhere, yeah, alright, alright, but like I said, Dale, maybe if you actually get off your fucking ass, go outside and go for a fucking goddamn walk, or go to a fucking gym, you might lose that weight, and you might solve a lot of your goddamn health issues. So why don't you sit down and shut the fuck up? Because Dale, me, and Mom are sick of your motherfucking lies. I'm especially sick of your lies about me. We're all fucking tired of it, Dale. And you wonder why I cut your ass off. You wonder why I want nothing to do with you. You wonder why you're fucking dead to me. Because of the fucking lies that you speak about me. And all the bullshit that you say to these fucking assholes who want to do nothing but motherfucking bully me, Dale. So why don't you sit the fuck down and shut your fat ass up, you dumbass little cunt. All you are is a fucking shit talker. All you're doing is running your mouth for two things. Money and fame. That's all you want. Money and recognition. You don't give a fuck about nobody else but your damn self. You said to yourself last night in one of the interviews, you said to yourself, you never really gave a fuck about mom. You never really cared. We all heard it, Dale. We all sat right there and heard it. So, Dale, do yourself a favor and shut the fuck up. Because we're all tired of your fucking lies. We're tired of your fucking excuses. You need to sit the fuck down. And you need to shut that goddamn hole in your face. You call a goddamn fucking mouth. We're all tired of your bullshit, Dale. We're all tired of you spewing the fucking family issues all over the internet. I didn't do that shit. That was you that started that shit, bitch. So keep your fucking mouth shut. And oh, for the record... You never fucking 
were around when Bill was around. You were around very fucking rarely. When Bill was in the hospital with cancer, you maybe once or twice went up there to see him. But me and Mom, we were up there every fucking week. Every fucking day. All fucking day. Some days I would be up there with her. Some days she would be up there by herself. The only time your ass came up there is when he was on his fucking deathbed. That's the only time you ever came up there. When my older brother was on his fucking deathbed, you never once came up to see him. I at least attempted to fucking see him. So why don't you sit down and shut the fuck up? Talking about, oh, I did this. You didn't do jack shit. Okay? Mom was the main one up there at the fucking hospital with him. And when she wasn't up there with him, and he was here at home, doing hospital shit at home, I was constantly helping her the fuck out. While you were sitting there doing this on your little fucking keyboard. Dude, shut the fuck up. You ain't ever been about shit, Dale. You ain't ever gonna be about shit. You wanna call me a little kid? Look in the mirror. At least I don't sit on the fucking internet and play dumbass IMBU and play dress up all fucking day long. That's your ass. At least I actually try to do real shit that can make me a real fucking living. And guess what? I've proven that I can do that shit. I've proven that I can make a living off my music and that I can make a living off of my fucking streams. Cause guess what bitch? Before I got kicked off Twitch, I was making $111 a fucking week on top of my fucking sponsors that I had before these dumbass fucking trolls came in and fucked it up for their own selfish gain. So I don't want to hear jack shit out of your fucking mouth about I never did a goddamn thing. So sit down and shut the fuck up. You ain't nothing but a mooch. You ain't nothing but a fucking bottom feeder. You ain't nothing but a coattail rider. And honestly, Dale, at this point, you're no better than CVG. Hell, at this point, I dare say, you're no better than motherfucking music, bitch-faced, fat-ass, bald-headed, idiotic, dumb-ass Marty. You're no better than him. You're no better than Michael Hacken. You're no motherfucking better than goddamn William Bitch-Ass Glory Hole. You're just as bad as they are. You're just as bad as they are. So Dale, do yourself a favor and shut the fuck up. Because all you're doing is spewing lies, bitch. So as of this moment, Dale, I say this. Fuck you. You're fucking dead to me, and you're on mom's permanent shit list forever, bitch. So have a nice life without me, or a mom in your life. Now, if you ever do want a chance to have mom back in your life, I suggest you shut the fuck up. You wise enough, and you stop running your mouth to these fucking assholes. I suggest... You fucking get on your goddamn knees and you beg for mom's forgiveness. And maybe, if she, and if mom forgives you, maybe, just maybe, I'll forgive you. Just maybe, I'll fucking forgive you for the shit that you've done to me. Maybe. Actually, on second thought, no, I won't. I can never forgive you for turning your back on me. Like I said, the minute you started treating me like a little kid, and the minute that you wouldn't stop treating me like a little kid, is the minute that I fucking disown you. 
Because I got tired of you treating me like a fucking child. When I'm a grown ass fucking adult. And I deserve to be treated like it. Hell, mom treats me like an adult. Ed treats me like a grown ass adult. Everybody else in the world does. But you're the only one that doesn't. Why? Because you're too fucking stupid upstairs to understand that I'm not a little kid. I'm a grown ass adult. And I deserve to be fucking treated like it. Hell, even your own pathetic son, Damien, treats me like more of an adult than you do. So sit down and shut your bitch ass up, Dale. I'm tired of your shit. Mom's tired of your shit. We're all sick of it, Dale. So you best stop spewing them fucking lies. Because if you don't, every video that you get on, I'm going to motherfucking report. I'm going to have shut down. Oh, and I will come after you for motherfucking slander and defamation of character. Don't think I can? Try me. I've got the manpower to do it too. And I will. Same with you, CBG. You keep on doing this shit, you're going to be added to that list as well, boy. Same with you, Death by Design. You're going on that list as well. Oh, wait, I forgot. You two already are on that list. But like I said, Dale, if you want to be added to that fucking list, keep running your fucking mouth. Watch how fucking fast it gets you for... Watch how fucking quick I get you for defamation of character and motherfucking slander. Just watch. So, Dale, fair warning. Shut the fuck up. Or I'm coming after your ass for fucking slander and defamation, bitch. Oh, and Dale? Fuck you, bitch. You deadbeat.